Peace and love, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me here in this moment. My name is Christina. Welcome to the channel. I have an urgent message for you guys because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And the only way that I am not going to be sick and tired no more is if I actually share this message and hope that somebody hears it and adheres to this wisdom. The message is, is chase health before anything else the reason why i say chase health before anything else and chase it like your life depends on it because it actually does is because there's so many people out here in this world we see it time and time again where they chase a bag they chase a man they chase a woman they chase a career they chase uh, something that is outside of themselves you know they chase something outside of themselves only to get to the end of it and wish that they invested a little bit more in themselves, you know. And then we have those other people who invest in themselves, so-called invest in themselves, but won't actually invest in themselves, but will invest in the material aspect of self. So they will go and buy a luxury car just to put premium gas in that luxury car, just to go through a drive through to get a hamburger to put in their body. You see the misalignment? You see that? That's what's happening here. We've been programmed to chase every single thing besides our health. To, to chase these jobs and these careers and to excel and be good daughters and good, uh, good sons and good wives and good husbands. And, you know, do what we got to do to uh, really, I feel like a lot of my energy is coming from, you know, the idea of people just chasing money and not taking their currency to actually invest back into themselves, but would rather go out and just buy some stuff, you know, money going down the drain, loads and loads and loads of money going down the drain, but you don't have the money to go buy some fruits and vegetables. It irritates my soul. And even to the ones who complain about not having the fiat currency, um, still eating, but their choices, you know, they're, they're choosing to spend their limited funds on things that are, that are only going to leave them in a more disenfranchised place. They're spending their money on eating out, eating fast food, eating highly processed food that's only going to make them sicker and put them more in a bind, put them more in a space to where, you know, at first you couldn't really afford to be healthy, you know, or to, you, you really couldn't afford to be not healthy, you know, but now, uh, now you put yourself more into a bind to where before you might've been able to have the energetic capacity to work a job, to get a, a nine to five, to generate some type of income for yourself. But now you are so sick that you can't even do that for yourself. Now what? Now what? So this is why I say chase health above everything else. Like your life depends on it because it does. It does. Like how will we put premium gas in a car? But we won't put premium fuel in our bodies. Vegans are not missing out. A lot of y'all thinking vegans ain't eating, but we eating and we eating good. And we eating so good that we're eating, uh, feeding ourselves on a cellular level. Think about this. Ask yourself this question. When was the last time you ate some fruits and vegetables? When was the last time you had a fruit, like, you know, just had some berries? You got some bananas, made a smoothie, got a smoothie bowl, got a, a juice, a fresh pressed juice. Vegans, even, even, even vegan cook meal, you know, cause I like to go hard on the raw because people be promoting this veganism, but it's still highly processed, you know? So even like a nice cook vegan meal, just some fruit, food from the earth. When's the last time you had a really good home cooked meal with food from the earth? When's the last time? When's the last time you did that for yourself? Because we chase uh, this idea of what wealth is. We think it's the steak and the potatoes. And that is not. It's going to have you checked out early, especially if you don't have a movement practice. This is why I like to advocate people having uh, eating raw foods having a sustainable movement practice, having exposure to the natural elements, getting good quality sleep, having a spiritual practice, uh, having sacred connections where they're connected with people who feel like home. This is why I advocate these things, guys, because it really is life or death. Our habits can lead us to heaven's gates or it can lead us to the graveyard, you know? And at the end of the day, yeah, we're gonna die someday. You know, we're going to uh, 
transform and transition and all this other stuff yeah but it's like even with people who have that mindset i'm just trying you only live once we all gonna die someday so you still decide to eat the fried chicken and the and the french fries and all that stuff that's causing cancer you're not thinking about the type of quality of life that you have it's not about how many years you're gonna be in here it's the quality of those years and we all seen it in our society especially if you got a skin tone like mine we all see it you know, people dying of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, all of these cancer, all of these different things. They're related to what you put in your body, you know, but we like to put up the excuse. Well, it's genetics and all this other stuff. Even if you have the most flunked out genetics, a, 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 a vegan lifestyle could really be your saving grace, you know, and it's all tied to karma. It's all tied to karma. What we do, what we invest our energy in comes right back to us. If we invest our energy into the violation and mutilation of other animals, other beings, other humans, even if we didn't go out and do the slaughtering ourselves, there's still a karmic debt that is attached to that, that we have to experience via our health, via our health. And I speak with so much passion because I actually have a grandmother who transitioned from colon cancer and another uh, grandmother who transitioned from kidney failure. So, you know, I've been able to see these experiences firsthand. And trust me, just because you choose to eat a certain way and you think that you only live once, you got to think about the type of quality of life that you want. You want to spend the last few of your years, earthly years, uh, tied up to a machine going to dialysis every week, you know, in and out of the hospital, having someone wipe your butt because you can't. And not saying that, you know, there's plenty of people who eat meat, uh, who are living to a healthy old age. What I'm even though I advocate for veganism, you know for my health sake, for the sake of animals, for the sake of the planet. Even if you're a person out here that consumes meat, be healthy about it. Be healthy about it. The whole point is to be healthy and to refrain from eating processed food, white sugar, white flour, fried foods, foods that, de that destroy the uh, the linings of your digestive system. And then eating so much food, you, you haven't even pooped out the last food that you ate. You know, invest in your health like your life depends on it because it does. Think about your 40-year-old self if you're in your 20s. Think about your 50-year-old self, your 60-year-old self. We live so in the now that we don't think that in 20, 30 years from now, where are we going to be? What do we want our bodies to do for us? You can't have these big plans and these big dreams and not incorporate your body, not incorporate your health. As you're creating your plan and your vision, you also have to incorporate the health aspect. Am I even going to have the energy to be able to manifest something of such grand, grandness? We got to add, we got to be realistic. Your health is the best thing that you can invest in because all you have is you. If, if you ain't got you, then who you got and what you got? It's going to be all for nothing if you can't even enjoy it because your, your body done... I'm going to let y'all know I'm 27 years old. I went vegan about eight years ago. I went vegan about eight years ago. And people made fun of me. People talked about me. You know, and I mean, it's, it's part of, you know, being my color and being a part of the community that I come from. You know, but people, they talked about me. But eight years later, we see who's talking now. People are silent. People are silent. And the people that I do talk to who are my age, I'm 27, not even 30 yet. 27, having health issues at 27, at 26, 27. We think because we're young, because we're moving around and we're healthy, that we're going to be like this forever. But every single time you go through a drive through you're performing witchcraft on yourself because you know that stuff's not healthy. You know that stuff has all type of chemicals in it to make you addicted to it so that you can come back. 
You getting these fake dopamine hits. You getting these fake dopamine hits. That's why you need to eat some fruits and vegetables so you know what real dopamine is. You know, everything has been oversaturated, overstimulated. And you need to come back down to earth and get some fruits and vegetables. Because we're not aliens, we're humans. We're human beings that require minerals and vitamins. And we get those from eating fruits and vegetables. Solar energy from the sun. We have to have energy to feed ourselves. We're a whole living organism. But we treat ourselves like we're a whole dead carcass. And we're not that. You put death into the body and think you're going to get life? To me, it's been common sense. But I might not know. I don't know. I, I feel like I have an idea of what common sense is. But when you think about it, one plus one ain't equaling what it's supposed to equal. If you put death inside of a living body, what do you get? Come on now. And then you do it long enough, what do you get? Look at the numbers. Look at the statistics. I'm not just talking to be talking. I'm talking from actual experience. I'm talking from actually doing the research and learning and changing my life. Like, I wouldn't... Y'all, the passion is real. So the message is chase your health like your life depends on it because it does. Invest in your health, invest in your wellness, and watch everything around you unfold. Yes, things are going to change. Yes, you're going to have to adopt a new way of seeing yourself. Like, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Your values are going to change. The way you see life is, is going to change. The deeper that you, The deeper that you go towards nature, the deeper the relationship that you have with nature, everything just changes. Everything. And that's okay. Get to a place where you're okay with change because that's a natural part of life. Everything changes. Everything moves and everything grows and transforms. You know, stop trying to stay a, a caterpillar and actually become a butterfly. Actually bloom, you know. See yourself in the, the healthiest light. And know that you're capable. And just because you have an addiction to things that are harming you, if you truly desire to overcome them, you will. I grew up on meat and potatoes. I was a well-fed child. Had all the snacks. Had no reason to go vegan until I had my own health issues. Until I had my own health issues where I had to grow up and be a big girl and take little steps. But see, you don't even want to take those little steps. But you don't understand that those little steps, they add up over time. They add up, up over time. They can become big steps. Those small habit changes become big habits. And next thing you know, you have a whole new personality where you're not even thinking about uh, what you used to do. And we see this already in our life. Just look at where you were five, ten years from now. You're not that same person. And if you are, maybe your journey is a little different from everybody. And you're supposed to have a little bit more time in that space so that you have a deeper experience and awareness of whatever it is that you're engaging with. But for the people who can look back on their life and be like, wow, you know, I am completely different. I don't hang out with the same people that I hung out, you know, with. I don't eat the same things that I ate back in the day. I can't even if I wanted to, you know. Uh, I really had to mature and grow up and I'm loving this part of myself that's being expressed. So I, I share this um, to shine a light in, in your mind, you know, for you to really see life through the perspective of pursuing health. It is your birthright. It is your inheritance. You cannot chase wealth and not have health at the forefront of it it's a holistic thing it's a holistic thing peace guys thank you so much for joining me peace